judge of Pup of the Year 2013 was Claire Coxall. Thank you very much for stopping to talk with us, Claire. That was quite a final, wasn't it? Oh, it was a little bit awesome, you know. <laughs> and when you hear your big spiel beforehand, and you've got to live up to that. The only reason I have that very big spiel is my age. You gather it up over the years, you see. And so I, I got out there and I went through them and I pulled shortlist, the big shortlist. And then, then I did another shortlist and it got, didn't get any easier. And then it was down to the handlers. The dogs had equal quality, mm. they really did. There was the beautiful miniature poodle, there was another one there, I've forgotten it at the moment. But they were all Norfolk in the Terrier. running. Yes, the Norfolk Terrier. He hopped and skipped, I saw it, etc. One mistake, and, and, and you're not looking for a mistake, but you've got to divide them. And there was the Akita, and there was the Fox. And, and, and I, when I asked that last one round, they put pressure on their dogs, and it came right up. I saw it, the lead move, and I saw the dog pull itself together, and he asked that dog to give a bit extra, and it gave it. And round here it happened, was the decision. When they were coming round, that, that spot there was where that fox had everything together in total tune with the handler. He asked that bit extra out the dog. They were equal dogs, mm. and the handler. And those two dogs that have only just started their career, they can go on to great oh, success. Come on, where are they going to stop? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, anybody in the utility group is going to have to get some good ones out. But the miniature poodle, I must say, was exceptional. Mm. That was sheer quality, beautiful to go over, sympathetically handled, not overdone with presentation. I could see the dog. It was a fantastic final, but we spoke earlier on about this being a, a prestigious competition. You've also had the honour of judging Best in Show at Crafts. What was it like to get the call from another massive competition in the sport that oh, you were I, judging? I, I couldn't believe it because I'm, I'm stopping judging in 2016 officially at Bath. I'm out and I can't go on forever. I've got to say goodbye to 60 years. And, and when it came, um, you know, you think, well, that's the second biggest one to Crufts that I've had. And you come here. And, and those puppies are your future. And what a, what, what, what a, a show to be given uh, on, I mean, this carpet. Everything, everything was, is designed for the future, isn't it, here? And I think it's one of the most prestigious events, apart from the big one at Crufts, which you can't compare with, there isn't. But these kind of things, I think this is the best. This is the best. It's always one I always wanted to do and didn't think I'd ever do it. And I'm thinking, oh, well, I've got too old for this game. They've all forgotten me. Because when you're sitting in my little cottage, you can feel very sorry for yourself. <laughs> and I was remember today. I had the most wonderful time. And don't think you're not nervous. I'm sitting on that chair and I'm thinking, am I ever going to get out there? Am I ever going to have a dog in front of me that I can start work? And you don't know whether you can rise to it. You don't know whether you, you're going to pull it out. You, you've got all these knowledgeable crowd. They're watching every move you make. And I hope to God I, I never lose that because I cannot step out in the big ring if I do. I cannot. I haven't got much work left. I cannot. And I had it today and I know I had it. I took command of the ring and I enjoyed every minute. And thank you for having me. I wouldn't have had this opportunity. It's a marvellous event. I think it's one of the tops. And the hotel, dear, I'll sleep in that bed any night. <laughs> <laughs> my father, my grandfather was in Scottish. I learnt my, my fox te my terriers. The terrier people apologised to me and said <laughs> I didn't know you knew so much. <laughs> but I went into this silly coated breed called a poodle. <laughs> right? <laughs> I forgot my terrier background. But you see, there you go. You get an event like this and you remember what you've learned in the terrier world. And, and it's there. The, and the knowledge is there. Because and you've you finished with two terriers and a poodle in the last no, four. Tell me about it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Claire.